South Carolina State University taking steps to add more security efforts on campus after shots were fired in an academic building on Tuesday. A student was arrested. Meredith Blair shares what changes are being made and what students are saying about it. Following the lead of larger universities here in South Carolina, but also across the U.S., a gun sniffing dog will soon be doing random searches at SC State. University President Alexander Conyers says the dog will protect students and faculty and serve as a deterrent. We're here to provide an education to the young men and women who have chosen South Carolina State. And every single day, we're looking for new capabilities that will ensure that we can do that in a much safer environment. 700 cameras were installed throughout the campus over the last two years, and they want visitors to know they're being watched. That's why they're working to mount a screen that displays some of the different cameras to the outside of one of the guard shacks guests have to go through to access campus. Cameras don't prevent incidents, but they help us solve them in a much, much faster uh, way. So our cameras that we've already installed on the campus, our additional law enforcement officers, all has helped us now with being able to conduct investigations much faster. Students say they understand this is something that takes time and are pleased to hear about the police dog coming to campus. It's more of a long journey than a short term sprint and I do understand that it takes time to achieve the cumulative goal we're trying to get to. So I, I have patience with the staff. I know they have our best interests at heart. But students also say their safety concerns aren't totally out the window. We came here to learn. We came here to get our education. We don't want to be worried about like having to duck and dodge from a stray bullet or things like that of that nature. Following some routine training, the dog will be on campus and ready to work within a month. Reporting in Orangeburg, Meredith Blair, Live 5 News.